Hey, Gary with AmazeStudios.com here, and I want to answer a question here that Eric posted on the Ecamm forum. He wants to experiment using a second Mac for Skype guests. How do I do this? I tried hooking a second Mac to my Ecamm via USB 3 to USB 3 cable. I opened Skype on the second Mac and could not see any way to bring the Skype guests into my main Ecamm Mac. All right, so... I wanted to try that out. Well, first of all, you don't really connect Max USB to USB. Um, let me close this out here. But uh, you can see on my Mac here, let me switch this over. So I've got my iPhone. And looking at my iPhone, I've got Ecamm Live running on this computer. You can see that. But uh, Skype is not running at all. There's no dot on Skype. Uh, in fact, Skype is not where in my computer. So if I alt tab through here, you can see that Skype is not running at all. However, I've got Skype running on my on my second Mac here, and it's going on forever. So um, when when you have Skype turned on here, you have to have NDI, and it looks like Ecamm is picking up that NDI signal right here. Well, let me switch over right over here into this window. It's going on to infinity, but that can be a little confusing. And so essentially you can use Skype over NDI. So as your callers come in, they become available sources. So the benefit of that, let me put this down for a second here. So the benefit of that is if we do, uh, let me switch over to screen share. Uh, if we go to my screen share here and switch over to activity monitor. Ecamm Live is the only app that is taking up most of the CPU. It's 126 or 120 percent. And usually if Skype is on, it would also double that. So this is my A6400, if I can focus. There we go. This is my A6400. I'm switching over to the, this is um, Skype on my iPhone that's transmitting to um, over the network, a call on my Mac right here. And then that's being transferred over Wi-Fi to Ecamm Live, even though Skype is not running over this because it's using NDI. And if we switch over to me, let's switch over to Softcam, just checking the latency here and looking at the audio. If I go over here and switch over here and take a look here and snapping, you can kind of see the levels going up and down. Another check here. One, two, one, two. All right, so that's a quick test. That's a quick test on using Skype on a separate computer and bringing it in over to your Ecamm over NDI over the network, reducing resources on your Ecamm live computer. Hope that helps.